How much should you pay yourself out of your business? This is Sam Bryant from Bryant Taylor Law, where we help business owners achieve financial freedom and create generational wealth. So this is a question that usually comes from new business owners that are just starting out or new business owners who have reached the point where their business is making enough money to pull money out. And the answer to this question is that there's actually two answers. There's a tax answer and a corporate law answer. I'm a corporate business attorney, so I'm gonna give you the, the corporate answer and I'll leave the tax answer to a CPA or some sort of tax advisor because the answer, their answer is likely gonna depend on your tax status and what you're looking to gain from a tax saving perspective. But from a business law perspective, you just need to be aware of just one general rule. So I'm not gonna tell you that there's a minimum or a maximum amount you should take out. What I'm gonna tell you is whatever you take out, just make sure that you're not taking out so much money that whatever's left over is not enough for the business to pay off its debt. So in other words, whatever you're taking out, there should be enough money left over to at least cover about, let's just call it a month's worth of expenses. So I'm not saying that it has to cover all of the, the debt that the business has for, you know, for a year or in, like the entirety. So like if your business has $100,000 in debt because the business took out a commercial loan that has a five-year term, I'm not saying that you can't pay yourself until you have $100,000 in cash. What I'm saying is from a month-to-month -month basis, you may want to at least make sure that the business can cover the monthly expenses of whatever that loan is going to be. So whatever that minimum amount is, make sure that at least that is left in the account. Make sure that if you have payroll, the monthly payroll is left in the account. Uh, whatever other operating expenses you have. The reason for this is because if your business ever gets sued, you don't want the other side to allege that you set up your business as a personal bankroll to avoid liability protection. Because what happens is for a lot of people, and this may not be you and it probably won't be you, but for people who do have nefarious purposes for their businesses, they'll set up businesses and they'll sign contracts in their business's name so that the business gets some revenue and then they will immediately pull out all the money from the bank account so that at any point in time, their business, their business gets sued and they lose the lawsuit because they're doing nefarious things, they can always claim that the business doesn't have any assets. All the assets have been, been effectually transferred in their personal name. And when that happens, a court can do something called piercing the corporate veil and make that business owner liable for the business debt. I'm not gonna go too much into that but I just want you to understand that when you take out money from your business bank account, you need to make sure that there is enough money left over for the business to at least pay its monthly debts. By doing that, you kind of avoid that whole situation which I just described earlier with the piercing of the corporate veil because you're at least showing, and you can show a paper trail of you at least having you're setting up your business to be an actual business. You know, it's a business that pays you, but it's also a business that can pay its monthly expenses on a month to month basis. So as long as you keep that kind of general rule of thumb in mind, you should be safe and you should, and that allows you to take whatever minimum or maximum amount um, that you can, because ultimately the exact amount that you take is a business decision. It's up to you as the business owner. And um, you know, there's there's no necessary uh, X amount that you have to take from a corporate law perspective. Now, given all of that I just said, it is possible that you have a CPA or a tax advisor that may give you a specific amount to take out. If that's the case, then you know you follow their advice, but just keep in mind that you do need to leave a, a certain amount of money left in the business 
so that you're not accused of setting up your business for nefarious purposes. Hope you found that video helpful. If uh, you did, we have plenty of other videos on the channel that will help you protect your business. And if you need to talk to a Florida business attorney, um, you can speak to us. Our contact information is in the description. So again, hope you found that video helpful and take care.